Starling two for seven in this series and he drills that one toward the left field corner and that ball is down for an extra base hit. There goes Marte stealing third. The throw by Fortes is right on the money, but Marte beat it. He hit his head. Did he go right into his knee? Oh, right up oh. against his knee. Yep. That's it toward the gap in right center, cutting across is McNeil to make the catch. Doesn't matter where you put him, he makes plays. He does. And McNeil drives one in the right field for a base hit. Cannon will go first to third. McNeil heads to second as Garcia gets to it deep. It's a double for McNeil, second and third, and nobody out. And now Francisco Alvarez getting a nice hand for his return to the majors. And it's hit the other way. That's down for a base hit. Canna had to hold up. He'll come in to score. McNeil stops at third. Francisco Alvarez drives in a run in his first at bat of the season and gets the Mets on the board. It's now three to one Miami. Three for 28 start for Garcia. And 0 for 18 against the Mets. But he drills this one toward the gap in right center. Back goes McNeil on the warning track and he gets there for the out. Nice grab by Lindor, the glove flip, and the turn by Guillaume, and they get the double play. There goes Birdie, the pitch is high. Alvarez with the throw, and he's safe. Oh, close. Strong throw. Lindor tried to get that quick tag down. Cooper gets one in the air to deep left field. LaCastro goes back, and this ball is out of here. And the Marlins lead 6 to 1. It's ball four and De La Cruz is off for the third straight time. Third walk issued by Carrasco and that's going to be it for a cookie. As strike three called and Chisholm is upset again. And now he's going to run. That was a strike to right on the corner. Perfect pitch. But Lindor grounds one out to short. Birdie plays it cleanly. And the Marlins take the final game of this series, 7-2.